Hello guys, uh, today I'll be showing you another C++ tutorial. It's really cool and really short, so it won't take much of your time. Uh, anyways, today's tutorial I'll just be showing you how to convert a decimal into a binary number. It's uh, really easy and really quick. So let's get started. If you're, uh, I'm using Deb, uh, Deb C++, uh, so if you're using Visual Studio or any other compiler, uh, just go ahead and create a new project. I've, I've already done so. So just go to File, New, and create a new uh, empty project. Once you've done that, go uh, go and add a source file, and let's get started. So first, we must include um, the IO. I should type include first. Sorry, include IO stream. This is the input and output libraries. Then we type using namespace std, and then uh, we want to create a prototype to actually do the calculation, so we don't do it in the main function. So we're gonna let's make a let's create a prototype here. So I call it integer um, des to binary, and it's gonna have a, a parameter. I just call it x. Then let's go into our main function. And well, in our main, we just want to ask basically the user to enter a number. Enter a number, but you can basically type another message like cooler. I'm doing it fast, so I'm just going to type enter a number. Then we want to declare a variable, so I just declare an integer num, where we want well, we have to declare num in order to store the user's input in the num. So, I type c in num. Then I'll declare another integer called answer, where I want to store the calculation that's going to be done by des to binary. So we're going to set this equal to des to binary. And instead of x this time, we're going to put num, because num because x is going to be set equal to num to whatever the user enters then we want to see out um, your answer equals and then type answer since answer equals uh, desk to binary and then I just put an end line just start a new line then I do a system pause then return to zero so we're done with our with our main function now let's go to our prototype so we basically type the same thing with top uh, we typed at the top so int desk to binary int x and then open a bracket so basically, we uh, here uh, we have to start with the if statement. So if x, which x is equal to num from the main function. So if x equals zero, basically if the user enters zero, then we want to return zero. And then else, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, actually we don't have to type else. We just type return because else is not going to do anything. So if the user doesn't enter 0 he enters any other number we basically want to return 10 times des to binary x which is the user's input divide that by 2 and add x again the user's input modulo uh, modulo 2 so what this does it will uh, it will divide the user's um, input by two all the time and, and multiply it by ten, and it's going to take the remainder of that number and add it. So that's going to give you the binary number. So let's compile it and run it or build it and see if it actually works. So dun, 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 dun. okay, we had no errors. Here is the window. It says enter a number. So you know, guys, if I enter 15 in, in, in binary, I don't know if you know, but it's supposed to be 1, 1, 1, 1, four ones. So that's what it gives me, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Let's try another number just in case. Why does 
3 equal into binary. 3 should equal 0, 0, 1, 1, I think. Or just 1, 1, <laughs> I guess. It's a 2 bit, so. There you go, guys. It works, and that was a pretty quick tutorial. I'll be doing another. I'll be doing another C++ tutorial pretty soon. So please um, and uh, watch all my other videos, and please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you like this tutorial. And if you want uh, any tutorials about anything in particular, just let me know. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll I'll make another tutorial soon. Thank you, guys.